What's up everyone, Rob from Ishimoto. Today we're gonna to take an in-depth look at the making of the 2016 Plus Camaro Turbo Catch Can System. Hi, I'm Steve, engineer here at Mishimoto, and I designed the catch can system for the 2.0T Camaro. Just as a general overview, blow-by gases are generated when the piston comes up on its compression stroke and a gas oil mix leaks past the piston rings. This then is directed down into the crankcase where it routes up to the valve cover and back into the intake manifold through a PCV valve where it's then reburned. The problem with allowing the gases to go directly back into the intake manifold is that, especially with direct injected motors, the gases will tend to collect on top of the valves, which over time gunk up and will eventually rob you of efficiency and performance. So to combat this, a catch can is used to allow the gases to condense and collect in the can itself, where you can then dispose of the gas oil mixture that eventually becomes a liquid. So in order to figure out what was going on with each of these systems, we first tapped each system to pull vacuum and see what kind of pressures we were seeing when we were driving on the road. We found that the external systems that you can see showed very little pressures even under boost. So in order to figure out what was going on within each system while the motor was running, we tapped vacuum lines into the secondary, tertiary, and manifold lines and recorded the pressures when we were both under boost and vacuum conditions. What we found was that very little vacuum was being drawn through both of these systems, and therefore, if a catch can was added, we speculated that there wouldn't be much blow by collected. But in order to test this, we added a catch can to both systems and drove the car for 1,000 miles and checked each can. Unsurprisingly, we found out that very little blow by was collected in each can. So after some research, we found that there was a fourth PCV valve in the system that is integrated into the valve cover itself. In order to figure out how this system worked, we pulled the valve cover off and found that the PCV valve was pressed into the cover and routed directly down into the manifold where it was seeing a significant amount of vacuum. So as you can see, this project has some interesting hurdles to overcome. Stay tuned for part two where Steve will explain how we did it. While you're waiting, head over to our engineering blog to check out the technical aspects of our other projects. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button.